and girls, Coach Katie here again, and I'm super excited to do another at-home class with you today. So I'm going to let your moms and dads know about all the equipment that you need today, and then we'll get right into our games, okay? So one of the things we need today is a towel. It has to be a small towel, so like a tea towel or a um, hand towel, that sort of size that we're going to need for one of our games. All right. You also need, if you're inside, some sort of tape. So masking tape or painter's tape, something like that. If you're doing our class outside and you have chalk to draw on your driveway or the sidewalk, you can also use that for this game today. Okay? We also need something um, to pull. So I have a martial arts belt here, but you could use a regular belt or a belt from a house coat or a robe or a skipping rope or anything like that. Um, for another one of our games today, we're gonna need some sort of belt or rope, okay? You also need about three plastic cups or plastic bowls, all right? Please do not use glass, make sure they're plastic. And they have to be big enough to fit some balls in. So you also need about three little plastic balls and make sure the cups that you're using are big enough for those balls to go inside, okay? We also need a floor marker or something that we can use to drive today. So whether it's a towel or a toy or a stuffy or anything like that, a piece of construction paper, um, anything that you can use for your driving and to stand on today, that's one thing. And lastly, what we need is one of our bouncy balls, okay? So a good size if you have a ball like this at home. If not, you could use a beach ball or something like that as well, okay? So that's the equipment that we need today. Get all ready and we are going to get ready for our first games. Okay, so feet together. 
We're gonna put our arms out. Now for our little guys, if you wanna hold on to mom or dad or onto something else, we can do that, okay? But we're gonna to try to lift one leg up and see if we can balance. If we start to lose our balance, it's okay to put that toe down to get our balance back before we lift it back up again. Good job. Okay, let's switch and do the other leg. One leg's always a little bit harder. Always feel a little bit more wobbly. Good job. All right, one more. Let's do our straight as a pencil. And then we are going to jump out like a star. And then in like a pencil. Out like a star. In like a pencil. Out like a star. In like a pencil. Out like a star. And in like a pencil. You got it. Okay, let's shake all those sillies out. Shake those sillies out. And we're going to get ready to play our games. All right, boys and girls, for our warm-up game today, we are going to play Shark Attack. So you need some sort of marker that you're going to be able to stand on. So whether it's a toy or a tea towel or a face cloth or um, a stuffy or anything like that, anything that you can use to drive your boat and also for you to stand on. So just to refresh our memories of Shark Attack, we're going to drive our boats around. And when Coach Katie says shark, you're going to put down your boat and you're going to jump on it. Okay, and then we have to look all around and make sure that we don't see any sharks before we pick up our boat and we keep driving. Okay, so make sure you have your boats ready and you've got lots of room to run and I'm going to get ready by calling out our shark. All right, we're ready to play our shark attack. You guys ready? Yeah, okay, here we go. Get your boats ready. All right, let's drive. Driving, 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 driving. Shark! Good job, that was fast. Okay, let's look all around and make sure we don't see any sharks. Is it all clear? Yeah, I think so. Okay, grab your boats. Let's go again. Let's drive those boats. Use that big space that you have at home and run around as fast as you can go drive in your boat. We gotta keep a lookout. Oh, I see some fish. Oh, fish are okay. All right, I see some dolphins. <gasps> dolphins are okay. Uh-oh, I see a shark. Good job. Okay, let's look all around. Do we see any sharks? No, no. No sharks. Okay, let's grab it again. Let's keep going. I see a whale. Oh, whales are okay. I see a penguin. Penguins are okay too. Shark! Shark! Oh, that was fast. Okay, let's look all around. Do we see any more sharks? Yes, one right there. Okay, okay. you gotta tell them to shoot. Say shoo, shoo shark. Shoo, 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 shoo shark. shark. Go away. Shoo, shoo, shoo shark. Shoo. Okay. That's good. It's good now. Okay, grab those boats. Let's keep going. Hmm. I see a seagull. I see a jellyfish. I see a shark. Wow, you guys are so fast. Okay, let's look all around. Pretty sure they're all gone. There's one right there. There is? Okay, you gotta tell them to shoot. Shoot, 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 I don't know. I see an octopus. I see a shark. Shark. Whoa, I thought I almost tricked you that time. All right, let's look all around. Good job. Do see? By me? Oh, oh, shoo, oh, shark. Oh, shoo, shark. Shoo, shark. Shoo, shoo, shoo. All right, great driving, guys. Great being captains at home. For our next game at home, we are going to use a towel, so a tea towel or a hand towel, something small, so not a full-size bath towel, all right? And your little one is going to sit on it. So this game, we need mom or dad's help, or if you're not available, you can actually use a doorknob or a railing or something as well. So your child is going to sit 
on the towel, okay? The easiest thing for them to do is to sit crisscross, okay? So they're gonna sit on their towel crisscross. Now, for our demonstration today, I'm gonna to be holding on to our rope. Now, I am using a martial arts belt, but anything you have around home would work. So a skipping rope would work, um, a bath robe um, a belt would work, a regular belt might work, a scarf, anything like that that is long and that they can pull on, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate by holding it today and I'm gonna provide tension on one end of the rope. My little one sitting on the towel is going to pretend that they're climbing up a rope. So they're gonna pull on the rope and it's gonna help slide them forward across the floor on that towel. So if you wanna do this without holding on, you can tie the under, other end of your rope to a railing or to a doorknob or anything that's super, super solid that they can pull against and that it's not gonna move. So please do not tie it to a chair or something like that that can fall over on them. It has to be something that is very, very sturdy if you don't wanna hold the other end of the rope. So again, I'm gonna hold one end, I'm gonna provide some tension they're gonna sit on the towel at the other end and they're gonna pull their hands one over top of the other like they're pulling up a rope and it's gonna let them slide across our floor on their towel. the floor so make sure that you're not on carpet that you're either on hardwood or tile floor or you can even play this outside on your driveway but we need something that it the balls will roll across really really easy so you need a few balls and then also some type of plastic cup so we don't want to use glass cups but some type of plastic cup or plastic bowl okay and what we're going to do is we're going to roll the balls across and you're going to trap them with your cups Okay, so you are all going to sit across from each other, across from mom or dad or an older brother or sister, and you're going to make sure your legs are nice and wide in front of you, and when the balls come rolling, you're going to trap them with your cups. The balls are going to come rolling, you're going to trap them with your cups. Okay, and we're going to demonstrate how this game is going to work for you.
All right, boys and girls. So on our floor, I have used our tape to make a hopscotch area and also a ladder like we would have used in class. So just because you might not have a hopscotch or a ladder at home, you can use the tape or outside you can use your chalk and your mom and dad can help you draw these maybe on your driveway or on the sidewalk. So I'm going to demonstrate some of the different activities we can practice in our hopscotch. For our little guys, we want to start by practicing just walking through every square with two feet. Okay, so we're going to start, we're going to go two feet in the first square. We're going to spread our feet apart a little bit for the second squares. Two feet together, apart and back together again. Okay, so that's gonna be our first one. When we think we've gotten really good at that and we wanna try to make it a little bit more challenging, we're gonna try to do little bunny hops. So we're gonna go two feet together as a bunny in the first square, our feet apart, our feet together, our feet apart, and our feet together. Okay, for our older kids, we've practiced that with our pencil and our star jumps lots, right? So we're gonna do pencil, star, pencil, star, pencil just like that and then if you want to make it extra extra challenging we're going to try add in a hop on one foot so in our first square we're going to jump on one foot then we're going to go back to two feet one foot two feet one foot okay and those are the different activities that we want to try with our hopscotch now moving on to our ladder, we use our ladder lots of different times in our classes for different skills. So the first one we want to practice is just our bunny hops, okay? So two feet together, we're going to try to hop in each of our squares and not land on the tape in between. So little bunny hops, hop, 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 just like that. The second one we work on, especially when we're doing our hockey week, is our crossovers. So we're gonna to stand to the side and we're gonna take our outside foot and we're gonna lift it nice and high up and over top of our other foot so that our feet look like they're crossed. We're making an X with our feet, okay? And then our other foot comes out from behind. We take that outside foot, we step it big over and our other foot comes out from behind and another one big up and over, okay? If, and then we can practice the other way as well. So we're gonna take a big step with our outside foot, cross it from behind, big step, so I'm always facing this way. I'm never facing front. Step out, cross over, all right? And one last one on our ladder, all right? We're gonna crawl like a bear up our ladder. So just like if we were crawling up a ladder outside or at the park, we're gonna put our hands and our feet on our rungs and we're gonna try to crawl up, but we can't put our knees on the ground. So hands and feet, and we're gonna crawl up our rungs, just like that. Okay, so lots of different activities that we can try with our hopscotch and with our ladder at home.
All right, boys and girls, great class today. So we have to finish up with our pizza stretches. So we are gonna start with our sauce. Make sure you've got lots of room in front of you and you're gonna get that sauce right up to the very top of your pizza. Now at home, you can add whatever pizza toppings you would like, but we had some special sport kids friends ask their mom and dad to send me their pizza toppings. So the first one we have is from Rhett and Rhett wants blueberries, all right? So we're gonna add some blueberries onto our pizza. Good job. And then Rhett's brother, Reese, said he wants waffles on his pizza, which sounds delicious. So let's put some waffles. You got it. And some other sport kid friends also sent in some ideas. So Nathan would like some chicken nuggets and french fries on his pizza. That sounds good too. So let's put some chicken nuggets and some fries. You got it. And Nathan's brother Alex wants giraffes on his pizza. Giraffes? I think we can do that. I might put giraffe gummies on my pizza. What do you think? Sound good? Okay. Let's put those giraffes on for Alex. You got it. Okay. So Ethan, what else should we put on our pizza? Pickles. Pickles? Pickles? <laughs> All right. Let's put some pickles. Let's put some pickles. And of course, on the top of our pizza, we have to add cheese. So we're gonna sprinkle that cheese, reach way up to the top of your pizza. You got it, this pizza looks delicious. So let's take it, we're gonna push it into the oven. You got it, and now we have to wait for it to cook. Beep, beep. Wow, these guys have got fast ovens. Okay, let's pull our pizza out, and we're gonna take some big bites, ready? Good job. All right, let's take some sticky glue and we're gonna cover the bottom of our feet, our socks, or our shoes, whatever you are wearing, and we're gonna stick them together. So make sure you have lots of glue on there so they don't come apart. And then we're gonna flap our butterfly wings, make those butterflies fly away. You got it. All right, and before we finish, make sure you shake all those sillies out again. Get all those sillies. 